Hello everybody, um, welcome back to this week's vlog, um, I hope you're all dead well. I am about to make some pizzas, so I'm going to take you along with that. I wanted to make my own bases, but I couldn't get what I needed to make them. So we bought some ready-made ones and now I'm just going to choose my toppings. Um, I'm just going to work with whatever we've got in the fridge with lots of cheese, <laughs> loads and loads of cheese. <laughs> Um, yes, I hope you're all feeling good this week and that, yes, you're having a brighter start to the week. Um, yeah, that's it really. Just done an Instagram Live, our second one with Lizzie, and it was amazing, like so uplifting. It's put such a smile on my face because it just feels like such a community. And I feel so lucky that everyone is so kind to each other and encouraging and supportive. And it does the world of good for me and Lizzie as well when we're feeling a bit anxious because we've both had a funny anxious day today. Um, so yeah, which is why I sound out of breath. <laughs> no, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to make some pizzas. Hey guys, fresh out of the oven, baker and cooker extraordinaire strikes again. I have got woo, a couple of different cheeses, mozzarella, cheddar, a tomato base, fresh tomatoes and pepperoni and some sweet chilli mayo. Hello everybody, um, I hope that you're all feeling okay today. I've had a really slow day today and it's been so nice i haven't vlogged or anything and um, apart from now hello how are you <laughs> um i basically slept through my alarm this morning i was supposed to get up for my danielle pisa workout for lower body but i slept until quarter past nine and it starts at half eight so then i just got up had a breakfast um a coffee and just potted about a bit I had like a little skincare con consultation over FaceTime, which was lovely for La Roche-Posay, which is a beautiful brand. Um, had a call with Rachel, who, who helps look after my day-to-day -day work stuff, who's my agent, and that was really good and just nice and productive, but the same general consensus that everything is so slow, everybody's like down tools for work, um, and then we're just keeping in touch and everything is just, it'll pick up when it picks up and we've all got to kind of let go of that. Um, and then I have curled up on the sofa, watched Next in Fashion Finale and cried my eyes out because it was amazing. Um, I've read some of my book. I've done a yoga class. I've just done a little yoga class um, up on YouTube in the sunshine upstairs in my spare room. And yeah, I'm just like fully embracing having a slow day and not really doing much at all and I've literally just been in <laughs> trackies socks um, and this lovely jumper from navy grey all day um, and now I'm just going to make a cup of tea and have like a bit of chocolate and then um, I felt quite solitary today which is nice like I don't feel anxious I feel just very pensive maybe and thoughtful and so I've not really wanted to spend time with anyone James the other person here um, as much as I love him, I've really enjoyed having today by myself to, to I don't know, to just relax and not have to worry about anyone else or talk to anyone else and it's just been so lovely. I've not put any makeup on, I've just been like chilling. I really need to wash my hair though. <laughs> um, it's hard with a vlog at home, like I'm, I'm trying to show you as much as I can what I am up to, to, to make you feel to make us all feel like we're in this lovely community together, because we are. Um, but I don't want you to be bored either. So tomorrow, um, I have got a couple of like interior bits that I haven't done 
and I should have done ages ago but actually it's quite good because I can do all the adjustments and take you along um, for them um, so I'll do that tomorrow for you and yeah just see where we get to a bit really um, oh, I'll show you something actually that is bringing me a bit of joy well a lot of joy so this little piece of kit was sent to me by the very thoughtful team at Neom who I work with usually um, and they have the most amazing candles and I've not had anything like a diffuser before only the oil burner that I have from Aesop and this is amazing like it has a light too it's like really soft and warm so of an evening it's really pretty you put all of these different drops whichever you want these two are my favorite because they're really um they're really uplifting they've got kind of like lemon and orange in them and you just put the droplets into some water in here and you can see the um the diffusing happen in here and my house just smells amazing and it just is oh it's just so lovely so lovely hello i've just come for a walk in the garden um <laughs> and i also just wanted to quickly let you know that for those of you <laughs> that i told i'd be trying to do my manicures every 10 days i tell you what mate it's not lasted three so i'm gonna get really good really quick much quicker than anticipated because i'm gonna have to keep bloody redoing it every few days <laughs> i didn't sign up for this life <laughs> Good morning everybody, um, I hope everyone's feeling okay today, um, I didn't sleep well last night, <laughs> just couldn't get off to sleep at all and then the only dreams that I seem to be having are about trying to get to the supermarket and also what was the other thing, not miss my downstairs interactive live workout class every morning <laughs> so we're going to panic thinking I've missed it, honestly how apt, <laughs> um, but I hope you're okay. I, my skin recently, um, I thought I'd just talk you through a couple of bits just generally. Um, my skin over the last few months has been like a shadow of its former acne ridden self and it's been so lovely and calm and clear and I've barely worn makeup and it's just been so lovely. And I think because I'm around my cycle and because of the added kind of like anxiety and stress that we're all going through. I've had a few breakouts and they're really painful. I don't know if you can really see them or not. I've tried to come into where the light is so you can see. I know I can see like a blemish on my chin here. But they're all under the skin and they're all really painful. I've got one right in the middle of my nose that's just swelling up and killing me. <laughs> um, and yeah, they all seem to be like around my mouth and my nose. So I'm not best pleased. So I'm trying to get the situation in hand and just really take care of my skin so I've used some gentle cleansers from La Roche-Posay because they're um, really really gentle and then what I was going to do is use a Suzanne Kaufman enzyme peel and it's built to resurface the skin but very gently and also add in moisture as well so that'll go on for 10 minutes and then I've got a couple of other products just to give it some hydration and some calm and some care so I'll talk you through those in a sec as well um, but how are you all feeling um talk to me oh this is gloopy yeah talk to me how are you um i think i'm gonna have another slow day today i am gonna do my art hanging and um i've got like another piece that i need to put in the bedroom so i'll take you along for that and also um oh that's nice and calming and also oh it smells like alcohol <laughs> <laughs> um, and also I'm going to bake some cookies today James has requested that I do some um, phew, mint aero ones um, which I feel is a off piece but you've got to give the man what he wants whilst he's in isolation um, but I'm still going to do my hazelnut and dairy milk chocolate um, option so I'm going to do half the batch for him and half the batch for me and then there's no arguments you watch though I bet I'll really enjoy his <laughs> Right, this is on. It the, the smell calms down once you have had it on for a minute. Always do your neck as well. A friend of mine, Emma Haru, um, is an amazing beauty journalist, ex-beauty journalist, um, and she carries that on through her Instagram. And she always says you do from the boobs up for your skincare um, because it's all, all the same kind of skin. So I always try and get my neck in, get my neck in there. Oh dear, right, 
So that'll stay on for 10 minutes. Um, I'll link these products as well in case anyone's interested in finding any more out about them. But Suzanne Kaufman is bloody brilliant. I adore her products so much. They're all so gentle, so natural, but all do what they say they're gonna do, which, you know, in skincare, it's a flipping minefield, isn't it? So I'll leave that on for 10 and I'll pop back for my next bit. Hello, I'm back. So I've waited the 10 minutes and taken it off. My face feels quite dry and quite tight now, so I need to um, put some moisturiser in it because if it feels tight, then it's dehydrated. Um, so I'm going to use a Beauty Pie Superactive Capsule, which is hy hyaluronic acid, easy for you to say. It's incredibly moisturising. So they're like little, um, little capsules. And they are... I like these. I like opening them. I like that. Um, and so you just squeeze the top off like pinch the top off, she says, and then squeeze it in to your hand, like that, so it's like a nice, it's a really nice texture, and then I'm just going to push it on my face, and it goes on, it's really silky and lovely and light, um, It was nice to be taking some time to do this this morning. Oh, I don't know that much about facial massage, but I do know for drainage and for like anti-puffiness, always start from the inside and move out on your brow and underneath your eyes. And that always feels really nice because um, we've obviously got loads of muscles in our face as well. And they get very, very tense, especially with me, I find around my jaw, like in here, if you push here, you have a huge muscle here that controls your jaw. Um, and I always get loads of what we call a trigger point in there. So, oh goodness me, just like lots of knots basically and lots of tension. And I think that comes mainly from anxiety. Oh, that's nice. So that's all in. Um, and then the next product I'm going to use is honestly one of the best moisturisers ever ever and it's all built on science which I can always get on board with um, this is by Lixa and I'm, I've spoken to you about this before I think um, and I never really ever leave it alone because it's just too good um, and this is a universal emulsion which is the day moisturizer night cream and serum base all in one and um, it's just got everything you need in it basically um, so yeah I'm just gonna put this on it feels so lovely it's like a really nice it is a really nice consistency as well nice and cooling oh. so nice don't forget your neck <laughs> we're ready so I'm going to let this all just settle for a bit and then I'm going to properly put some makeup on and make myself feel nice today uh, ready for my day of art hanging and cookie making I'll see you in a bit hello everyone um, I'm just in the front room. I'm just now going to start sorting my art stuff out. So I'm going to put, unpack the frame. So the frame is here and it's the same ones. I don't know if you all watched my big interiors vlog when we first moved, but I always get my frames from somewhere online called Easy Frame because you can have them custom made. They're inexpensive and they're made from like a shiny ac acrylic so there's no glass so they don't break by the time they get here. Um, but they still look and feel like really good quality and all of my um, pictures in the house are framed with them and they all look so good. So I got that from there and then I'm going to frame this, um, uh, what is it called? It's obviously a poster but it's a piece of art and it's um, an adv advertisement for um, an exhibition at an art gallery um, and I love things like that so I collected this one from Cambridge at Kettner's what's it called? Oh, Kettle's Yard not Kettner's uh, Kettle's Yard so I'm going to frame that one um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here on the mantelpiece because I just think that I need to move that pink one somewhere else in the house I love it but I think I need something a bit more neutral there because I've got some green and little notes of different colours, so yeah. I think the French lady is gonna move for now. Is she French? Yeah, she's French.
there it is. Love this. Right, let's put it up. The other thing to say here is that I measured it wrong. <laughs> so I just had to, you saw me then, I just had to trim the outside of the bloody poster to get it to fit in the frame. I'm not sure why that's happening. This has never happened before, but it's obviously my misjudgment as usual. understated a bit more cool because I've got like lots of trinkets around it as well so I'm quite happy with that Okay, so it's all done. So I just wanted to keep it quite plain, but like I had an idea to put one of these timbre screens in the corner around James's bed. Um, it's like walnut, uh, they're really beautiful vintage pieces of art and design. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest, it's a bugger to get in there. Um, but I think it's quite cool. I think I need to just get used to it. I think it'll be nice. I don't know, what do you all think? It's really hard sometimes to figure out if it looks right or not when you've looked at something or had something in your head for so long. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Hello everybody. Um, I hope you're so well today. Um, it's Friday. I can't believe we've gotten to Friday already. Um, yeah, it feels nice to have another week under our belts and yeah, this week has been a week of two halves for me, I think. I don't know about you. <laughs> it's just all been a bit, a bit of a roller coaster. Um, but that's okay. I think we've just all got to move with however we feel at this point. Um, so yes, I've just been sitting on the floor in the front room. Um, I like to sit on the floor because I've got a nice fluffy rug. I've done that since I was a kid, actually, sit on the floor. I really like sitting on the floor. Um, so I'm still reading where the crawdads sing because as much as I would have liked to have finished this by now, my brain just is um, not geared up to read more than probably one chapter at a time. So it's going slowly. I'm loving it still. Like, I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, it's gone very slowly. Um, I had a lovely delivery today uh, because excitedly I'm working with Majori, which is a fine jewellery brand and their motto is fine luxury for every day. Um, like why shouldn't we all wear fine jewellery that is affor affordable every day? Um, and I like that thinking. So I've styled them all up and I want to show you how I'm wearing them. And I chose really simple everyday pieces because I want to be able to mix them in with all of my other vintage bits and things that have come from my mum and my dad and wear them every day and not take them off. And because they're all solid gold, solid 14 karat gold, um, they're, they'll obviously not tarnish or wear or anything. So I'm excited to have them and to integrate them into my everyday. So I'll take you through which pieces that I chose um, and then you can have a little look online as well if you fancy treating yourself. So the first thing that I chose was this really beautiful open chain necklace to wear with my Lindsay necklace that I've had since I was born um, and I think it complements it really well and you can also change the length of that and it's just kind of like everything but nothing if that makes sense like it's such a beautiful piece but oh, and it just looks so good layered and it's just great and I'll be able to sleep in that easily as well I think. The next pieces that I got were 
mainly rings and earrings <laughs> because <laughs> you know what I'm like for rings like I'm literally so bejeweled all the time with them um, and again all the rest of the ones that I have are um, sentimental and vintage and from family and things so I never take them off um, but I got one in each colour, a sterling silver and um, a solid gold little dome pinky ring and I love them together and because I've got some pieces of gold at, with diamonds in I think it looks really nice that the silver and the gold work together and um, that one's my dad's signet ring um, so I always wear that but yeah those two together I think look really cool really cool, I like those a lot the next one I chose was this really simple band with a diamond on the top and it's so beautiful. It's like, it feels nice and sturdy, but it's just, oh, it's just so easy to wear and I think that looks so lovely next to my other vintage ones on my little th finger. And then onto my ears, I chose some everyday um, fine 14 karat gold hoops, which I love. They're just so easy to wear chuck them in my ears and then I just feel done. Like, oh, I love them so much. They're the gold ones at the front. I really like those. And they come in a couple of different sizes as well. So, yep, class. So yes, my new jewellery collection. Very exciting. Um, I'll obviously now be wearing them all the time. So you'll be able to see them more and more. And then as we go through all these vlogs, I'll report on how they are and how they're wearing and stuff. I think now what I might do is... I don't know what to do yesterday honestly I couldn't vlog yesterday I had an absolute nightmare in the kitchen so you know how I baked those cookies last week and they were great like went down like a dream for both me and James yesterday I was in such a daydream and I had quite um, an emotional day yesterday so I thought right I'll just bake I wanted to do a batch for James and a batch for me because we both wanted different chocolate in it did it all measured it all out fine sorted but I was in such a daydream that I must have forgotten something because they did not come out okay. Like, I'll come and show you now. They are burnt to a crisp. They taste like absolute crap. And I've definitely forgotten to do something along the way because they just wouldn't cook. They were just so wobbly and soft and weird. And I, I just, I was, at, I'm, I'm still at a loss now as to what I've gone wrong with. Right, so here are the cookies. As you can see, lovely golden brown, not burnt at all. Um, these were mine um, and those were the most edible. These ones, unfortunately, were James's, which are solid as rock. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're all fine this morning. It's Saturday, and it is absolutely glorious outside. Like, we're very lucky that it's sunshiny, whether that's just letting loads of light into your house, or you've got a garden, or you can pop out for you one walk a day. Um, we're just getting a bit wrapped up. Not too wrapped up though, because it's quite warm. Um, we're gonna go for our walk now, but we reckon it's gonna be so busy, so we're gonna go on the most rural walk that we can find, which is just like hills and hills and hills. <laughs> so you've got so much room to give each other if you bump into anybody. Um, yeah, just a really nice, sunshiny, slow day today. Um, so we'll go for this walk. We've had a little, um, we've been using like a local butcher to get all of our meat from and they're doing deliveries. So we've just had that arrive, which is really nice. Um, so we're gonna cook something nice for tea tonight. Um, what else? I think when we get back, I might have like a bath and like just chill and then maybe just sit in the garden with my book on like a, get, get like a chair out there for an hour or something. Um, yeah. That's it really, I don't have much to tell you. I'm gonna be makeup free today. My skin's just about settling down because I, I, like it obviously flared up at the beginning of this week and um, yeah, me and Lizzie were saying on our Instagram TV from last week, our live, not Instagram TV, Instagram live last week that we've, we've actually, before I had my breakout, we've all had such nice skin and we probably think it's from all the tears. <laughs> or the salt water um but yeah that's gone to hell for me now um but also we are doing another instagram live on monday this monday come in tomorrow at five o'clock gmt and it'll be on my account with lizzie joining this time so yes um i'll take you along on this walk because i think it's going to be really pretty um and then i'll catch up with you in a bit what is it what is it Shadows. 
Hello everybody. Um, we're back from our walk now and it was so lovely. Um, oh, it's just been such a nice day today. I feel really lucky that we've got this sunshine. Like I said before, my washing's out on the line. <laughs> the smallest things ever are just making me really happy today. Um, we've also just very excitedly um, found a scheme online via the Dogs Trust that's called the Freedom Project and it basically is to offer care, temporary foster care for dogs whose um, family are sufferers of domestic abuse so that the, the dog can be cared for and looked after until the family is settled and safe themselves. And I just hope so much that we get picked. We've put a little online form in. Um, and so, yeah, we could just be temporary carers for a dog because we really want to get one. Um, we'd cleared it with our lovely landlord and everything. And we just decided that now isn't the right time to be making such a massive lifestyle change. So we think that have it, have fostering a dog and looking after a dog when they really need it for a short period of time, it's about around six to nine months it is, um, would be a really nice place to start. And then it means that we're doing something really, really good for the dog and the family too, um, which is so nice. So fingers crossed, they get back in touch and pick us to look after a dog. Um, but yeah, that's all I have today for news and everything. I will sign this off now. I think it's been quite a long vlog, this one. Um, and then I'll catch you in my next one. I'm constantly thinking of ways that I can do other video bits and bobs for you online as well, but I'm just taking the ideas as they come because I can't, you know, unless I feel like I really want to do it, I can't do it at the moment. My brain just doesn't have like the space and I know that you all understand exactly what I mean. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's feeling good and you're okay. And yes, lots and lots of love to you all and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.